Hey everybody, welcome back to some more Dragon Fable. So sorry it's not been, well it's been uploads, but sorry there's been a few missed days here and there. I didn't really want to, because I feel bad, and I'm really enjoying the game recently, so I don't want you to think that I'm getting burnt out, which is why I'm going to say this. I've been uh, quite busy recently, and whatever, so yeah, that's it. <laughs> uh, either way, I'm back. This should be a video now for like, at least every day recently, not, um, for the time being it should be. I'm just going to do this, because I forgot, before the video started, oh shit. I did an extra point there. Oh well, it's all gonna get trained up. <laughs> I could reset it, but I'm not really bothered. Right, confirm. Nice, nice happy dragon. So I don't know how how long this video is gonna be today. It might have to be a little bit of a short one, but I'm real tired anyway. So yeah, I wasn't even gonna record tonight. Uh, but I don't really want to go two days without an upload. So yeah, beach invasion. So, we have to, we would have to, but it's part of the timeline, and I've always like skipping anything, so here we go. And of course, peace doesn't seem to last. After you spawn with Amityville and Wilshire, you were telling me they are newly hatched dragon. It's time for a vacation, but of course, something has to go wrong. Your beach vacation is cut short by an onslaught of light and fire elemental creatures. Who could be behind such an awful plan? Uh, to war, hot blot, to war, bad two. Let's do this. A game crashed. Oh, there you go. That was weird. Just when you thought it was safe to go to the beach. Beach vacation invasion. A hero's work is never done. If you're heading down to Falkirich Beach for the weekend, you can head into a battle for survival. These monsters clearly want more than a tan and a few rounds of volleyball. Defeat the waves of invaders that draw out the real villain and save some of vacation. Okay. Sounds fun. Okay, oh, where's the dragon? Sometimes when you feed him, he de summons, because I have him as a. When you save him as part of your build, it saves him as like a part of your build, so. So if I save here. He's, he's now saved as well, so I want to log in and play. He's there, but sometimes when you go to feed him, it decepts him. I've noticed that. In the middle, you turn darkness minus 40, water minus 20, fire 75 and light 75. So I knew they were resistant to light and fire. And what is it? Minus 20 to water, so that's pretty good for us. Oh, wait, my dragon needs changing up a bit. Let's have him water as well. Even though, like, um... Darkness would have been better, but who cares? It gets about the same element. I don't know if um, any of you agree, but I was playing around before, and I've noticed that wound is already shit ability. If you look at it, it says on hit, 20% metal damage over time for 5 turns, and it's really weak. Like, the attack is already 50% damage, so it's already, like, half as powerful as this. And that the damage of time is so weak that if he doesn't be I benefit, look. Five. Isn't that like the most useless attack ever? Maybe in the late game, in the late game, level 90 or something, it might be good class, but a good um, ability, I mean. But right now, I think it's terrible. I have another level up in maybe after this fight, which should be quite nice. I want to get to level 20, because then you start getting your triple XP. And it's kind of smooth sailing from there. But yeah, as I said, um, I think I said at the start of the video, I can't remember now actually. But I said how I've been enjoying this game recently, I've been kind of um, playing my own side character. It's not very high level, it's level 20. And, well, it'd be speeding up a lot now, because obviously triple XP. You level up a shit ton when you get 20. There you go, level up, level 14. Awesome. But yeah, I've been playing as a Dragon Lord, and just been playing through leveling up and then getting the perks for the Dragon Lord. It's been quite fun. And yeah, I've, ne I've not tried out the Rage or Patience Dragon Lord yet. You know, the artifacts, the 
one that's good for damage and you that's good for more defensive. I haven't played with this yet since they came out like was it about three years ago now? It was in 2021 I think. I can't remember, it was in book three when I was playing before. Uh, <coughs> but yeah, I really want to try this out because they're really good. And I've learned a couple of things about them. I know that the patience is already well it's really good for generally um what do you call it like long drawn out and difficult fights boss fights and in the edge of time bosses because it does a thing where per round per turn you gain like five percent more damage and it stacks all the way up to I think it's 125 so you do like more than double the damage after like however many waves and it's a really cool class and you get like so you get like your body buffs and I think they're called dragon element buffs I can't remember what they're called but I know how they work and the body ones are like your skills like you know the, the ones that don't have the elements so you have like dark dragon and light dragon is that the other ones like the eye skill and stuff and maybe the multi, I can't remember. But Unearth Fire Dragon. But yeah, but the body skills like so you get like two like stacks of buffs at each one. So you get like two body, two dragon, whatever they're called. Buffs. So when you um fill them both up after using two of those abilities, the next one you use well you, not the next one you use, you have to like Activate it yourself by clicking on the little buff icons. Ta da! And when you do that, it gives you like different abilities on the skills. It's pretty good. So for like the rage and pa the rage and wrath ones, they'll give you like um, offensive buffs. And usually for the patience and bulwark um, artifacts, they give you like defensive abilities and stuff. It's pretty cool. You've Clear this small section of the beach. The temperature is rising and the beach monsters are giving everyone sunburns. Clear the rest of the beach so that they can enjoy their break. Okay. Sell this. I think the reason why this game lags a bit. So I've noticed that I don't really get much lag when I'm playing by myself. So I think the issue is that when I'm recording, it's been a bit more demanding of my... CPU usage because I also record the videos in quite high quality. I don't know, it could be an internet thing. But recently I got some very internet put in and it's quite good now. So you wouldn't have thought it would be that. Especially for Dragon Fable. So I, I assume it's because of like CPU usage. I also record like high quality audio and stuff and high quality as I can, right? running like shit. I do have a decent PC, but you know, OBS can be very demanding. Anyway, hot pot. Oh, I remember this. Ah, uh, <laughs> the heroes of Falcon Reach are completely preoccupied with my cleverly disguised fire minions. You are free to make your move. Cleverly disguised? They're on fire. All of them are on fire. How is that cleverly disguised? The lava goblin isn't on fire. I have to admit, Zan. It sounds pretty. It takes an amazing amount of power to cast an illusion on an army of that size. They really all seem to be aligned with the light, with light instead of fire. I'm impressed. I'm not here to impress you, Necromancer. This illusion is only a taste of the power Numpkin's true power. I'm only here helping you by lots of budgets to command. I'm wasting wasting time with you while Warlick sits in his tent and why do you just go to Warlick and obliterate him? That'll be problem solved. For him anyway. Don't you lose your focus, son. Once we are done here, you may retain your obsession with the blue mage. And I will return to my plans in Amityville. You know the plan. 
your minions distract the heroes, drain their energy and their resources. Then my undead army joins your forces and, uh, and together they lay waste to Valkyrie once and for all. Finally, we retrieve the hatchling for Lord Sepulja and claim our rewards. Ha. Huh. Not before my creation cooks Dragon Ma- Dragon's Master and the rest of the heroes. Valkyries has already risen from his chassis once. I do not like to leave things unfinished. Do not fear. Even if my combined forces fail fall to midnight, our new powerful servants will finish the job. These pathetic heroes are too tired to put up any kind of fight. Valkyries is doomed. Any chance we could turn down the heat in here? I told you that you would regret wearing those robes. You could take your hood down. No, I can't. I have terrible blood hood hair. Blood? Hood hair right now. How about a glass of water? Water? My head is almost, is mostly made of fire. Why would I have water? Never mind. Wait, the fire monsters are disguised. What else have been hidden or misdirected? Alright, so two war part two. I'm assuming this is the same, and it's a little bit different. Friday the 13th evasion. Once again, Friday the 13th has come, and with it, the Dark Army of Doomwood has arrived. They destroy everything in its path. But well, wait, the light monsters from the beach have joined them. What plans do Zan and the Necromantress have up their sleeves? Who knows? Uh, what do you like? Oh, light man is 50. Fireman is 50. Right, I'm gonna set my dragon back to light. I don't know what these fire monsters are. they fire. Oh no, wow. <laughs> Why would fire be good? Shit. Why would fire be good for fire based enemies? Oh, messy. Let's just go back to ice. <laughs> It'll work for both enemy types. Right. Should I change my weapon? Oh, I can put this on now. Awesome. I'll have to switch it for my. For the fire monsters, but still. That guy's really weak, I don't even know why I bothered. <laughs> Here you go there. Oh, power. It's just the same as Pip Thrower. So it's like. It has a zero cooldowns as well. I mean, I always wonder what the point of them. Right, I'll go back to the water weapon. And kill this asshole. Unless, um. Pierce damage is a little bit different to power. Well, the, the normal power, which is just the normal attack. Like, Pierce is, you know, you probably get some enemies that are weak to Pierce. I don't really know how that works, but... Oh, yeah, defense Pierce. So you have, like, Pierce-based defenses. Same theory. And it's got like zero Pierce, so... Throw and power. Attack thing will do the same damage. Alright, there we go. Pretty easy. Who could be the spy be? Who knows? Right. I'm gonna get some healing potions and I'm gonna set this sword to be. Since it's my best weapon right now, I'm gonna save it to my builds. I don't really care about the appearance. I kind of think it looks okay. So I'm not really going to bother to change anything. Do I have any other level 14? I have this. It's level 15. Alright, so the boss monster. Woo. That's all of them. Wow. I've never been so tired. I'm going to sleep for a week. Not quite out of the midnight. Wait a second. I usually meet Zorbak here. He's standing on a pile of hockey masks. Zorbak? Hockey masks? That's just silly. Not really. He's usually right here. 
every Friday the 13th. I hope that the combined armies would finish you and the other heroes, but I suppose that driving you mad is just as good. What? I'm not crazy. There really is a blue moglin named Zorbak who has the power to raise the dead. And he used that power to build undead sports teams. Okay, when I say it aloud, it doesn't make sound kind of nuts. Insane or not, it's time to finish this. You've spent all your time and energy defeating my army of the undead and Zan's minions. Disguised as light monsters. Zan? Yes, and Zan and I have each prepared a special challenge for you. Rotogut, propane. Come finish this fool. Oh no. Boss fight. Right, what are these like? Oh, I didn't mean to click. I always do that. Right, darkness minus 40. Fire minus 50. Nice. What 80 light. Okay, minus 50. Fire. And. Okay, he hasn't got resistance to fire, so that's pretty good. I'll kill this one first then, because he's going to go down like a sack of shit. Sack of bricks. Alright, we'll set back the element to light. Because this guy's weak to light. Or well, this guy's resistant, but this guy's weak. And um, the other guy's almost dead. So, that was easy. Look <laughs> how much damage it was did to him. It's, I like how my character was just facing him still. He was looking, he was mesmerized by the amount of Destruction I just did. But get a normal attack so then I can get my buff up here. Awesome. Is he having to fire? No, he's not. He's not anything to fire. That's okay. As long as he isn't resistant to it, it's fine. A 69 health. Lol. Let's -a go, there you go. Dead. Easy. Amazing. He defeated both of them. How did he find the strength? I guess that you have never had something to fight for. Suppose I will be unhappy with our failure. Oh, I don't know. Let me tell Lord Spulcher the bad news. I will take full responsibility for our failure. Very well. I don't know what you're up to, Zen. But you're, you, if you want to take the blame, be my guest. Lord Spulcher, I've got some good news and some bad news. Which do you want first? Ah, uh, I do not have patience for your games, Zan. Is it done? Yes, my lord. During the confusion, I was able to make the switch, and no one at Falkridge even suspects it. Good. What is your illusion? Is there a chance the people of Falkirich will find out? That one of the people in Falkirich has been replaced with one of our spies? That's the spy saga that we saw in the pet shop at the, earlier in the playthrough. There is no chance of it. If I was able to cast an illusion on the entire army, make them seem like light monsters, then not even Lady Celestia will be able to see through my illusion. The replica is in place. And awaiting your orders. The two of us are the only ones I know the net replacement. But the necromancer just I can't say that. Is not a fool. She might uncover the real world in this. Shall I eliminate her? Not yet. She is nearing the end of her usefulness. But she has not yet reached it just yet. Bah. You're no fun. Y you have done well, Zan. You may return to your plane regarding Warlick. Ah, uh, Nice. You did it. A flaming light monster's propane and rot gut, the zombie, were made up from the king's missing 300th warrior, have been defeated. But who have Zan and Spudger replaced in Falkirich? I know, but I'm not going to tell you for spoilers. Alright, so that video wasn't actually too short, which I'm not kind of 
annoyed by anymore. I thought it was giving like a seven minute video or some crap. But either way, that was okay. So we're at a time. Thing is, the Vampire Tower comes first because it's before War at Sea. But the Macaros goes to War at Sea. So it's like, which one do I do first? I think I'll see Vampire Tower next. But yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.